what's good your four one three here back in the day and today guys are going to be showing you how to unlock the cadillac escalade here in forza horizon 4 of course the cadillac escalade is a vehicle very famous for being popular with hip-hop artists and i actually believe the obamas own a cadillac escalade so that is actually kind of cool it's a car that i've never really been necessarily a big fan of when I think of the Cadillac Escalade, usually I think of people modifying it to put giant rims on the vehicle. And I've just always thought it's too bulky. It's a it's a third row SUV. It fits a lot of people. It's got a lot of cargo space. And it's just big. You know, for someone who drives a pickup truck, you know, that's something that really shouldn't be saying. But I mean, seriously, I've always thought this car was just massive. Absolutely massive. It is the modern day land yacht. But without further ado... Let's go ahead and hop into how you can get this car for yourselves. So starting things off, you need to make your way over to the Edinburgh Newtown Street Scene Race. This is located in Eastern Edinburgh, and one of the things that you may notice is that this is a Sports Utility Heroes Challenge with car restrictions between 100 and 900, meaning we can go all the way up to S1. Now once you get into the race, you're actually going to notice first off the different rewards. Place third against average Dravatars to receive 15,000 credits, place second against highly skilled Dravatars to receive a wheel spin, and finally place first against expert Dravatars to receive the Cadillac Escalade. Now the thing is though, with this challenge, you can choose to do it on either solo, co-op, or PvP. The Second two rewards are going to be different depending on what you do, but always coming in first place against expert Drivatars on either solo or co-op, and of course beating the entire championship and coming in first against other players will result in the Cadillac Escalade. Unfortunately though, you can still only do one of these challenges to receive it. I actually wish you could do all three and receive three different Cadillac Escalades. But unfortunately, that is not how this works. So, but now let's go ahead and actually talk some strategy because this is a street scene event, which means the Drivatars are going to be slightly more difficult than your typical story mode Drivatars. There, there's always been something involving the street scene where they do end up being just a little bit harder. Plus, on top of that, traffic is going to be on for these races. So, you do got to make sure to look out for some of those AI cars. So, in these challenges, you probably are going to be rewinding maybe once or twice unless you're really, really good at avoiding some uh, accidents, which, let's be honest, not all of us are going to be that great right off the bat. So, having rewind on is something that is definitely going to be beneficial in this challenge, and there is no shame in that. As well, this is a Sport Utility Heroes race, and you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Sport Utility Heroes in the winter, I need to build a rally build that is not the case actually what you need to do is you need to build a race car build something that really we don't usually do a whole lot with sport utility heroes this means that you're going to want race tires race suspension you're going to want all the forza aero parts on it and this is going to help you best on some of these street races because as you go along these streets you're not really going off road at all so you don't need that rally suspension for anything at all you don't need the rally tires because the roads are going to be cleared so you should be in the clear. So I actually made this mistake in the first race where I picked up the Jeep Grand Cherokee rally build that I have and I decided to go ahead and use this as an A-class race car. This did not necessarily work out in my favor as I did finish in second place instead of first. So what I did is I actually went and got a Maserati Levante and tuned it up to be a race car because back in Forza Motorsport 7, this car actually was probably one of the best sport utility vehicles that you could use on the track honestly absolutely love this thing in motorsport 7 and i'm so glad it's finally here in horizon 4 so what i did is i did make a nice race tune for this you'll be able to go ahead and pick it up in the storefront if you so choose so other than basically some slightly more difficult driver cars uh as well as the appearance of traffic cars in these races and the fact that you want to have a race car build for this instead of what you would typically do to a sport utility hero that is all you really need to know about this race. It's single player for the most part. If you want to, you can do it on co-op or PvP. Although doing it on solo is probably going to be the easiest way for you to actually get this vehicle. So but anyway though, that is where we're going to go and wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 And if you guys like this video, go make sure to hit that like button down below for us. Because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching.
Peace out.